Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> I'm super crunk and hyped this morning. I hope y'all are too. I hope you guys are feeling good. If you're not, check some of my energy, okay? Just some of the light. I'm sending you guys some light, okay? Um, some uplifting energy, all right? There's a swing of energy. I have a reading coming up that I'm going to repeat this. There is a swing of energy. It's an upswing in energy that's on its way. Okay. I feel like we could be embracing this already. Most of you um, that are empaths, psychics, seers, okay, um, you guys will, readers, okay, you guys will be feeling this energy um, now. And then the others amongst the collective will be sensing this energy around Monday and Tuesday-ish, okay? So, let's just get into it. I was listening to a song this morning. Today's Sunday, I'm recording this. Um, I'm gonna post this today, most likely. I did one yesterday, I was too damn happy in it though, and I just, I felt so goofy. <laughs> I still may post it because, you know, you guys need the messages, and the messages gotta get out there and whatever, but I was super hyped because good things, I was getting signs of good things arriving okay so I was uh, wanting to share that something about fish could be very significant okay fish in the spiritual community equate to prosperity abundance okay and so it's this feeling where there's fish that are about to shower down or rain down on you that means the blessings of God his bounty are about to fall on you okay um, none of this is what I'm actually trying to get out this morning so spirit is here spirit is guiding me okay um and i'm cool with that i love when god speaks through me okay because i be leaving the messages too so basically there's this vibe what i'm really trying to get out here and tell you guys about about this song so i was listening to this song this morning and thank you angels and spirit guys for being here um thank you holy spirit thank you god um and basically this song it was like a praise and worship song okay and she said in the song i can't remember what it's called i'm sorry i'll try to look it up for you guys uh, but or i'll put it in the title in some type of way but anyway in this song she was saying that basically everything uh, no she says speak over yourself um encourage yourself i think it's called encourage yourself or something like that speak over yourself but anyway she was saying like you know, declare over yourself that everything the enemy told you is a lie, okay? It's a lie. It's a lie. Like, she went into it just like that in the song. And um, the vibe that I got from it, like, when I heard, it was kind of like, dang, okay, so basically every morning when we get up, okay, because I just finished saying my prayers, and it's like every morning before um, when we get up, right, we need to pray. Pray over ourselves. Pray over our children. Pray over our family over each other just pray pray for the community like pray mostly though with what, what the focus is right now that god is drawing my attention to is praying over your body praying over your mind praying over your heart praying over your spirit your soul praying over your destiny like your your power the power to unlock yourself and to keep yourself protected is in the power of your tongue okay a lot of us are finding freeness in just speaking the truth okay 33 39 something about those numbers could be significant okay you could be a life path number 33 like i am i'm a life path number 33 okay a master number 33 and it's a vibe where basically god is saying you are in alignment at this time for everything that's coming towards you but you have to know the power that you hold within your tongue, within your what you have to say, within your testimony, within your truth, within whatever it is that God has placed on your heart to speak into a stranger, whether that's a kind word, whether that's encouragement, whether that is constructive criticism, whatever it is. It's a vibe where God is wanting you to just know when you do this, when you speak that, when you speak to your soul, your own self, and you tell yourself the devil is a lie, everything the enemy told me is a lie, okay? You're talking to your subconscious mind. You're not just talking to the physical you that you may be looking at uh, or something like that. You're actually talking to the you that's in another realm, another dimension, another space. It's your higher self. You're telling your higher self, hey, 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 <laughs> and your inner child, hey, 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 okay? Whatever the enemy spoke over you in the astral realms, in the ethers about you, whatever they were ill-wishing on you, whatever that was they were stirring up in the pot, uh, cancel that, delete that spirit. <laughs> so, uh, higher self, lower self, inner child. 
child, okay? All oh, the circumference of myself. Delete that. What the enemy said, that's a lie. That's a lie. It's a lie. You're sending off alarms in your in your in your psyche. You're sending off alarms in your spiritual self in a literal sense. Do you know what I'm saying? You're like literally doing this. Okay, so that's the word that I have for you guys today. That's the message. God wants you to know that you need to continue to speak over yourself. Encourage your own self. Don't wait around for Joe Blow to do it. Don't wait for James Smith or Joanne. Wait for Carol Sue or nobody else. Okay, no Tom, Dick, or Harry. Don't wait on nobody else to encourage you. Don't wait on nobody else to speak life into you. Don't wait on nobody else to motivate you. Don't wait on nobody else to encourage you. You do it yourself. That way, you know, one, it's done correctly. You know that the intentions are pure. You know where it's coming from. And there's more power within you. Your strength is six. Six energy. It's the number of the, it's the energy of the six. Y'all look up the meaning of the number six. To me, it, it signifies justice. Okay? Harmony. All right? This is the six of wands energy. Okay? This is the six of cups energy. This is the six of swords energy. All right? I'm missing one. This is the six of pentacles energy. This that balance. These scales are being balanced out, but you have the power to do that at this time. This is what's being called for at this time. There's an emphasis on it being at this time. Okay? So, you guys, this has been your read. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.